Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. John McCain stuck it to Trump in final request before his death. I simply cannot stand it. John McCain passed away late yesterday at the age of 81. I try not to speak ill of the dead, but with McCain, it's next to impossible for me to do so. Everywhere in the media, it is a slobberfest over the guy this morning. Every politician is out there saying what a patriot and a hero John McCain was. I'm sorry. I just don't see it that way. Yes, he served his country with distinction according to most accounts, but it doesn't excuse the way he behaved in the years that he was in politics. McCain sided more with liberals than conservatives. Most people I have heard from are just choosing to stay silent rather than go off over his passing. President Trump who had remained silent over McCain stopping his treatment for his terminal brain cancer finally sent his condolences this morning to the McCain family. As with most politicians, they have to be diplomatic over the death of a high-profile political like McCain. Here are the well wishes from the White House over McCain's passing. President Donald Trump, my deepest sympathies and respect go out to the family of Senator John McCain. Our hearts and prayers are with you. First Lady Melania Trump, our thoughts. Prayers and deepest sympathy to the McCain family. Thank you, Senator McCain, for your service to the nation. Vice President Mike Pence, Karen and I send our deepest condolences to Cindy and the entire McCain family on the passing of Senator John McCain. We honor his lifetime of service to this nation in our military and in public life. His family and friends will be in our prayers. God bless John McCain. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, for John McCain, his country was his life. He was tireless in its service. Courage, determination, and relentless drive made him a great leader. To me, having served with him in the Senate for 20 years, his support for President Bush's surge in Iraq at a time when things had been going badly and public support had eroded, was one of the most dramatic, important, patriotic, and selfless actions I had the honor to witness in that body. His presidential aspirations were entirely set aside. He totally deployed his considerable strength and energy to what he believed was best for his country, and in service to those then fighting valiantly for the mission the nation had given them. It was a very contentious debate. His personal dedication and leadership moved a very uncertain decision to a favorable outcome. His ferocious tenacity for his country was unmatched. America has lost one of its greatest patriots. Senator John McCain, R. Oz will lie in state in the Capitol Rotunda in Washington, D.C., and receive a full-dress funeral service at the Washington National Cathedral, the New York Times reported Saturday night. He will also lie in state at the Arizona Capitol in Phoenix, a Republican official who is involved with planning told the newspaper. He will then be buried in Annapolis, Maryland. The honor to lie in the Capitol Rotunda has been bestowed on more than 30 people. Most recently, evangelist, Billy Graham received the honor in March after his passing. Lying in state there is seen as a gesture that is reserved for the country's most eminent citizens. McCain is the 13th senator to receive the honor. You might remember earlier this year when it was reported that both George Bush and Barack Obama were expected to deliver eulogies at McCain's funeral. Those close to McCain have informed the White House that they plan to advise President Pence attend the senator's funeral, but not President Trump. That's as beyond the pale. It's the McCain family's choice so they get to say who is there and who isn't but this strikes me as incredibly vindictive. Looks like McCain stuck it to Trump in one final request before he toddled off this mortal coil. Arizona Governor Doug Ducey, R, ordered all flags to be lowered to half-staff and President Trump ordered the same for the White House flags. At least President Trump is showing the proper respect here in acting presidential. That doesn't surprise me no matter how he felt about McCain. John McCain who was a Vietnam War veteran and a perceived giant of the Senate, died one day after his family announced that he would be discontinuing medical treatment for terminal brain cancer, stating that the progress of the disease and the inexorable advance of age had rendered their verdict. McCain was diagnosed with an aggressive glioblastoma in July of 2017. McCain could have stepped down when he received his prognosis. He chose not to and held on until just after the last election ensuring that his wife Cindy will be appointed to take his place for the next two years. That wasn't divine providence or happenstance, it was sheer will that brought it about. May John McCain rest in peace and his family find comfort after his passing, but I will never forget his final request concerning President Trump. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.